Looks cool, doesn't it? But what can you use it for? If you're asking yourself this question, you are not alone. I saw a variation of it in almost every review of GoTo Pro that I read on the internet. I decided to answer it in the most early 2020s way possible by asking ChatGPT. Let's try out the answers it offered. Some of them were spot on and some of them were wild. List 10 uses for Uni3 GoTo Pro Robot. I have the dog and I want to know how to use it. The GoTo Pro can perform tricks such as jumping, dancing, shaking hands, and sitting. With voice command capabilities and a mobile app for control, it serves as an engaging tech companion for both children and adults. Okay, uh, this is an easy one. It surely can do all that jumping, dancing, and shaking hands, and much more, especially since the recent update, the normal mode was integrated with AI and advanced mode, allowing the robot to seamlessly switch from walking to, for example, climbing the stairs or traversing some difficult terrain. Like, just watch it. The way it moves, it's really something on itself. From what I understand, these advanced movements were added already after the launch of the products, so brownie points for Unitry for continuing the development. Equipped with 3D LiDAR and HD cameras, the GoTo Pro can navigate autonomously, making it suitable for home surveillance. It can patrol your property, detect obstacles, and potentially integrate with smart home systems for enhanced security. GoTo Pro does come with impressively specced 360 by 90 hemisphere LiDAR and the cam. Once connected to the dock, either directly through phone's Wi-Fi or through Wi-Fi router, I could run around the office scaring innocent bystanders and my co-workers. The obstacle avoidance worked really well 9 out of 10 times. What about the 10th time? Finally, it is possible to create a map of the location and send the robot to patrol the area or go from point A to point B. However, with the Pro model, you cannot set it to report if anything anomalous is detected. An integration with a smart home system would be one of the killer apps for the dog, but unfortunately, at the moment, it's just a chat GPT hallucination. With a payload capacity of up to 12 kilograms, the robot dog can transport items such as groceries, tools, or packages within your home or workplace. Its autonomous navigation allows it to move efficiently across various terrains. Okay, we already covered rather limited autonomous navigation. Let's say I wouldn't trust it to navigate over large distances by itself. Plus, it doesn't have a GPS for outdoor navigation. But what it does have is the companion mode with this fob, which allows the dog to follow the fob while avoiding the obstacles, although it doesn't do that part very well. Let's see if it can carry my backpack for me. I'm here. The GoTo Pro is programmable via a graphical interface, making it an excellent resource for learning coding, robotics, and AI. It's particularly beneficial in educational settings for hands-on STEM learning. 
yes and no to that one. You can program it in Scratch-like block interface, but there are far cheaper and more kid-friendly alternatives for this task as compared to the robot that costs 3000 USD and weighs about 7 kilograms. To show you what I'm talking about, let's try executing this rather simple program and see how the robot handles obstacles in its pass. It doesn't. Researchers can utilize the GoToPro for developing and testing applications in AI, machine learning, and robotics. Its open architecture allows for customization and experimentation. Yeah, that's another one of ChatGPT hallucinations. Sort of. At least for regular, unmodified Pro version, there is no possibility of secondary development unless you jailbreak it. I'll talk a bit more about secondary development for GoTo towards the end of the video. As I mentioned in my previous video, the GoTo Pro unit was kindly provided to me by my bot shop and Alector. Just for the viewers of my channel, you can get 50% discount of the digital membership for Alector, which gives you an access for the magazine archive from 1974 and 5,000 Gerber files. Among other things, check it out. The link is in the pinned comment. The robot's ability to navigate complex terrains and its autonomous capabilities make it suitable for search and rescue missions in hazardous environments. It can be equipped with additional sensors for locating individuals in need. That's a fun one. Using this robot autonomous navigation for search and rescue sounds a bit far-fetched, but I can remote control it to go through possibly dangerous building to find myself. In industrial settings, the GoTo Pro can be used for inspecting equipment, pipelines, or hazardous areas, reducing the need for human exposure to dangerous conditions. Its sensors can detect anomalies and report data in real time. Similar to the previous one, this only applies if you want to conduct the inspection yourself by remotely controlling the robot. It is a very viable scenario for EDU version of GoTo. That version has secondary development capabilities unlocked. So we can use the dog to make pictures and run anomaly detection model, like the one you see on the screen right now, to see if, for example, the factory equipment is malfunctioning or damaged somehow. The robot dog can attract attention at events or retail spaces by performing programmed routines or interacting with customers, serving as a unique promotional tool Oh yeah, definitely a crowd magnet. People appear out of nowhere and start staring at the robot and filming it the second it shows in a public place. I had a lot of fun walking it in the center of Amsterdam. If you don't want to control the robot yourself all the time, GoTo has a behavior, aka lively dog mode, where it can execute predefined actions, talk and even react to gestures on its own. It could be a bit more interactive in my opinion, but it can work as a boost dog. Research has explored using quadruped robots like the GoTo Pro as guide assistance for visually impaired individuals, leveraging their navigation and obstacle avoidance capabilities. 
There is a research paper where an older Go One probe was used to give feedback to users about how slippery the surface is. With some development, it can be extended to obstacle avoidance for blind people. But again, this is more for ADU version and not for Go Two Pro. The Go Two Pro has been adapted for military use including reconnaissance and carrying equipment, due to its agility and ability to traverse challenging terrains. And I am not going to show you this one. No killer robots, no today, thank you, please. Making this video was a lot of fun, but where does it leave us? My personal feeling is that I would not recommend Go2 Pro to most of the people, although it has its uses for entertainment and events primarily. It could also be used as a land drone if you ever need one. What can make it a hundred times better is the possibility of the secondary development, which can be done either by modifying the firmware or using an EDU version, which allows for secondary development with NVIDIA Jetson Ori Nano. I plan to do one of those things in future. Help to make it possible by subscribing to the channel and giving this video some love.